Hey guys, welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French. It is Monday, November 21st, and it's time for a new episode of Rob's Arcade. So please hang tight, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back, guys. Thanks. Rob's Arcade, Rob's Arcade, where the games get played and the games get saved so they can be played on another day. Rob's Arcade. Oh man, alright guys, welcome back to Rob's Arcade. Like I said, I'm your host, Rob French. It's Monday. A little chilly out here. About 40 some degrees as I as I walk to the uh, as I walk to the gym. It's nice though, I can take advantage of these these days. We still got some some you know decent weather. It's warm in the sunshine, a little cooler in the shade. Uh, but I want to, you know, thank you guys for starting off uh, your Monday, hanging out with me here. Hopefully, uh, you know, I don't know, you guys have like school or or work or something like that. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it, making the best of it, being thankful for that opportunity to, you know, do better for yourself. You know, not everybody uh, has that opportunity to have school or work uh, you know I'm gonna jump into that a little bit uh, later and uh, you know just just be thankful you have that, that chance today to do something to kind of improve yourself hopefully you guys had a you know a great weekend I had a pretty good weekend everybody's working for the weekend I had to work through the weekend uh, but you know again it's uh, kind of what I want to you know touch about is you know being uh, reliable being able to be there for people it's, it's really uh, really important, uh, especially nowadays where I feel like, you know, there's just a lot of people who just don't care or put as much care or thought uh, and into things as, uh, you know, as they should. Uh, you know, some people might see it as, you know, all you do is work and there's no opportunity to, to have a life. Uh, but, and, you know, in my opinion, what's What's life without, you know, a little work, without, you know, being there, being dependable, uh, you know, having people being able to, to rely on you, you know, to know that you're going to be there for them, uh, you know, no matter what. You know, we've, we've lost some employees over the last few weeks. We've got another one who's pregnant, you know, she's got a foot out the door, you know, she's going to need her time with her family to be there for her baby, and, you know, uh, I think... You know, the guys I work for are terrified that, you know, a, a straw is going to hit my back and it's just not going to, you know, I'm not going to be able to take it anymore. But I think there's something in, uh, you know, being being able to be there for them and, and knowing that they need me and knowing that they, they can rely on me. It's almost like it's like a superpower, if you will. You know, like, you know, if, if you watch my channel, if you know anything about me and, you know, I love video games and comic books and things like that, you know, this is my opportunity for me to be a, uh, a real life superhero, you know, to be there for somebody when they actually need rescuing. And there's just, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing better. There's nothing better than that. So, you know, uh, just starting your week off, you know, try to maybe try to keep that in mind. Uh, you know, I think, you know, we got Thanksgiving coming up this week. I know some of you guys have probably, you know, got your turkey this weekend and, you know, got all that stuff ready to go and, you know, excited to, to kick back and eat and, you know, um, celebrate Thanksgiving. But, you know, this is the time, you know, this week to be, you know, considering all those things to be, uh, to be thankful for, you know. If you have a job, be thankful for that, that, you know, you can be there for, you know, the people who need you. Uh, you know, this is a great... A uh, great week to kind of start off, you know, some of these positive thoughts and, you know, some of these Monday motivations and some of these words of the week, you know, reliability. That's a great, that's a great word of the week this week, being reliable. You know, I think thankful is a great word for this week and uh, being, being reliable. So I guess as we go forward and, uh, you know, we get ready to, uh, to celebrate Thanksgiving and hang out with friends and family. Think about those. Think about those two words. You know, thankfulness, relia, reliability. All 
All right, got the workout done. Where was I? Where did I leave off at? I think I was just talking about uh, being reliable, being thankful, you know, going into this week. Uh, you know, just trying to give you guys, I guess, like a little mid-month November update. Kind of, like I said, like our little Monday motivation just to kind of get this week kind of get this week going it should be a short week for everybody so you know you should be excited you should be happy and you know, I know it's Monday might be a little chilly where you are it might be even snowing even I don't know it's a little cool here I'm just I'm, you know I'm thankful I get these these last uh you know a few days of fall before it really starts to get cold and I can't walk to the gym anymore it's gonna really suck uh you know speaking of uh, again of being tr uh you know thankful and just you know uh being reliable i don't think there was anybody you know when i was growing up uh that was more reliable than the than the mighty morphin power rangers now i didn't really watch them growing up myself which is odd you would think that it would have been right in my wheelhouse martial arts you know giant robots and uh what are they called kaijus i guess running around the city destroying things and that godzilla ultraman like mayhem that i do love i love some ultraman i love some godzilla some rodan i think gamera is probably my favorite he's the turtle i think i like him the most but anyway uh you know i never really watched it a lot growing up you know it was, it's as funny as it sounds it was just kind of cheesy <laughs> but i think now that's uh kind of the best part about the show is that it is a little cheesy it's a little campy uh, I enjoy watching it now because they're just, you know, it's um, a group of kids being played by adults. <laughs> and they, uh, they're going around saving the city and just doing the best that they can do with what they have and what they have available to them. And that's kind of like, I think, the main message in life in general is just to do the best with what you've got, you know, to be happy and thankful for who you have, your friends, and to try to work together to try to, like, you know, overcome uh, obstacles in your way, whether they're small little putties or giant, massive crab creatures from the sea. Now, I'm talking about the Power Rangers and the fact that, you know, um, they were reliable. They were there every weekday for us, day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out, whether it was Power Rangers Neo or Dinosaurs or, I don't know, they had time bandit ones and all kinds of different Power Rangers. I don't think it really matters what Rangers you were into. The point is they were always there for us. They were always, you know, uh, showing us the right way, the right path, and, uh, you know, just giving us, like, those basic little uh, life lessons, you know, that uh, you kind of pick up when I guess you're 12, 13, 10 years old. And you, know, you try to carry through, uh, you kind of carry through the rest of your life. I hope this wind isn't too disturbing in the audio for you guys. Uh, and you know, I can talk about the weekends on these little videos, on these Monday videos. And over the weekend, uh, we lost uh, one of the mightiest Power Rangers of them all, the White Ranger, the Green Ranger, Tommy, played by Jason. David Patrick and uh no shit Jason David Frank I'm sorry yeah Jason David Frank thank you uh I don't know why Patrick popped in my head I was talking about a guy Patrick earlier I don't know sorry sorry Jason David Frank uh, passed away this week and almost didn't even believe it. Like, I was seeing it on Facebook and um, that was really it. Like, I was checking Twitter and Instagram and different social sites. I was hopping on different news, media, looking for the story. I didn't see it anywhere. So I was thinking, like, maybe this is just like a Facebook kind of hoax thing. I just, I didn't really believe it. It's weird with all the celebrities that passed away. Like, this one was the hardest for me to kind of wrap my head around over the last couple of days like what is this is real finally this morning i got up i went ahead and just started searching it on different news sites and uh it looks like it's the real deal uh what a you know what a tragic 
tragic way to start the week for his family and friends. So young, so, so young. And uh, the, the, the details aren't really clear. I'm gonna, I guess go into all that. I don't think it's really uh, important. Uh, you know, I get exactly how it happened. I think probably the why in this situation is the most important thing to focus on. And, uh, you know, again, just to be thankful and, um, and happy with what you have and what you've got, you know, like so many of us are kind of waking up today, just going to work, going to school. Maybe we have the day off. Maybe we have the whole week off, you know, and a lot of college kids are back home. So, you know, maybe you're just hanging out, playing some video games, watching some TV, getting into the Christmas spirit, you know, uh, doing a little gift wrapping, maybe some shopping today, gearing up for Black Friday. But on the flip side of that, there's a family out there who are dealing with the loss of a son. You know, I don't know if he has brothers or sisters, uncles and aunts, but all of these people, they're all dealing with this. You know, as we're gearing up and we're, we're prepping for Thanksgiving, uh, these guys are, are preparing to put uh, this, this young man at rest, you know, their, 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 their loved one at rest. And that's just, that's really brutal. Uh, so again, you know, you might be waking up Monday going, damn, man, I don't really want to get this day started. I wish I could just crawl back into bed. But like I said, be thankful that you've got an opportunity to get out there and do something and kind of better yourself and, and you know, to be there for those around. Like I said, I think that's the most important important thing to focus on going into going into this week and, and kind of kicking off you know this holiday season everybody acts like the holidays are just you know once a year and it is but I think it's because we choose to make it that way you know we kind of like get in this holiday spirit once a year and tend to kind of save that goodwill towards men you know just for that, that couple of months out of the year when really you know it's something we should be doing you know year in year out day in day out week in week out you know like the power rangers were there we're there for us you know we should be there for for other people uh it's really really i mean to put things in perspective guys this guy was 49 years old okay 49 years old i'm going to be 43 this this january all right so try to you know you try to put that in perspective this isn't like you know a celebrity that's been around for decades and it was just his time to go and you know maybe even the family was probably expecting something like this to happen you know it's like just kind of one of those things like ah it was this time no man this is this is one of those things you just kind of wake up and get a slap in. i know what it's like i've lost loved ones like that you know waking up to that phone call and you hear the message and you're, and you're hearing the voice and you're hearing the whatever and the voicemail or you're hearing the person on the other end tell you what's going on but it's so unreal and so shocking that it's just you can't even comprehend it i remember when i lost my cousin my mom is telling me that you know he's gone and uh kobe bryant had just passed away too like that that weekend so I'm waking up, I think it was like a Monday morning to this phone call thinking like, you know, why is my mom telling me that, you know, Kobe Bryant passed away? I know, mom, I, I've got the internet, but my brain just couldn't even register my cousin's name. It just, it didn't hear it, you know, it could have been like, you could have said Ralph, Ralph Cunningham passed away and I would have heard Kobe Bryant. What? What? Oh, so, yeah, guys, just uh, just something to think about. And, you know, like I said, just kind of a, a little update on my end. Everything's going good. Everything's going great. Everything's going wonderful. Uh, just been busy with work. Yeah, I think I'll finally get, I'll, I'll get a day off on Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's what I'll be thankful for is I finally I'll get a, I'll get a fucking day off. That, that's what I'm thankful for. I'll be so tired by then I won't be able to eat any turkey. I'll probably pass out. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up at like you know seven o'clock, eight o'clock like I normally do. Wait to eat turkey all day. I'll probably eat like five plates because my appetite right now has just been like insane since I've been hitting the gym. 
I'll probably eat like five plates of food and then uh, I'll pass out by like 4.30. So depending on what time the meal is served. I'm guessing around four we'll eat. I'll, I'll gobble like five plates of food down in about 20 minutes. And then about 10 minutes later, I'll be, I'll be out like a light. So, but yeah, I've been doing good. It was also almost one of those weeks where I'm like, I might have to, I might have to drink this week. <laughs> I, got, I got off of work last night. I got off of work last night thinking, I don't know, is this going to be, is this going to be that week? Is this going to be? But no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't drink. I'm very proud of myself. I've been sticking to that. I'm trying to be resilient. Just better when I don't do it. You know. Plus, there's so many other things out there to enjoy. Like little Delta gummies and little vape pens. <laughs> Hitting the... I uh, can't think of the... Hitting the gym. That's a... That's a great drug right there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, it's been really cool hanging out, talking with you guys. Uh, you know, just like I said, man, be thankful this week as you go into it. Uh, you know, think about all the people who, you know, don't don't have what we have and don't have what you have. And All right, man, gosh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to go look at this guy's name again. I've looked at it all morning, and it's like people with three names, I could just never get the order right. You know, it's like Joseph Levitt Gordon. or I can never remember, like, what the order is. But, um... Yes, Jason David Frank. Um, like I said, my, my thoughts, uh, my prayers, condolences, all of my best wishes, everything's going out to his friends and family. Uh, you know, like this is this going to be something that's every year at Thanksgiving, this is going to be a constant reminder of like of this, you know. Um, that's why it's just it's so important, like I said, to be thankful, uh, to be here for people, uh, you know, because uh, they're the ones who are left to kind of deal with all of this, you know, once once you're gone. You might not think it's important to be here, but you need to be here for these people. It's important. People rely on you. They depend on you. Um, and they're thankful. They're thankful that you guys are here. So anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it so much for kicking off your week uh, with me and everything. Like I said, just, you know, be thankful, guys. Uh, be, you know, be reliable. Uh, make sure you get plenty of turkey. Make sure you get plenty to eat. Make sure you hug all your loved ones. Make sure you like, make sure you share, comment down below what your favorite Thanksgiving food is, any thoughts, any things you guys got going on. Uh, any questions you have, um, I'll answer your questions. Uh, my buddy just sent me a question about the World Cup the other day in a comment, and I went ahead, I did a whole video for him. I didn't just answer the question, I went ahead and did a whole video. So leave your comments, share the video with people. Uh, you know, this might not be your, your kind of video, but maybe it's uh, in somebody else's wheelhouse. And just remember to uh, subscribe. You don't want to miss anything here on Rob's Arcade in the future. Uh, and just remember, guys, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And this isn't goodbye. Simply to be continued. Don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye. Gobble, gobble.